Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Sunday. Today's video will be a little bit of a different video, but I wanted to just drop in and say how's it going. Saw work was slow last week. I had a couple of, uh, my dog's following me. I had a couple of uh, work events to go to and, you know, things in the evening. It's been raining here for three weeks probably. It just hasn't stopped. We got a couple inches of rain last week and uh it's a battle you guys can see i gotta cut the lawn again um i'm just walking around looking for standing water check out the pond pond's looking pretty full she's filled right to the edge i still gotta finish my yard clean up oh we call those two the honksteeds <laughs> i don't know if that's their name but they come here every year. I don't know if they're the same ones, but we think they are. <laughs> they're probably not, but I don't know how long a goose lives in the wild, but every year we get one breeding pair in this yard. They never have babies, but uh, well, the ducks took off too. The pond's really, really full right now. And you guys mentioned you, enjoy seeing the yard and just you know i thought i'd show you guys a little bit what's been going on yeah that's wet look at my boots they're uh covered in water i'm just checking out how wet it is because i'm probably gonna have to mow later today and uh weed whack and all that kind of good stuff i got a new cordless weed whacker um electric and uh, maybe I'll have to show you guys that. It's it's a beast. I'm really happy with it. Oh, the dandelions are bad this year. We uh, we sprayed this yard many times when I first moved in, and it did nothing. So the only way to get rid of these now would be to dig this up. I think they're too established. But uh, anyhow, friends, I'm going to show you what I've been up to. Uh, my my wife and I. Did a project yesterday in the rain. Rain and wind. It was like 3 degrees Celsius. You know, just above freezing. And it was rough. Anyways, I'll meet you guys over there. And I'll show you what we're up to today. What are you doing, Daisy? You playing ball? I gotta say, this dog here, as she gets older, she's just getting better and better. You're a good girl, aren't you? Anyhow, friends, this is what we were up to yesterday. We bought this kit last year. It's uh, the KidCraft, what do they call it? KidCraft Modern Playset, I think they call it. And uh, it's it worked out. They said 14 hours to assemble this. When I saw that, I was like, oh, what am I in for? Uh, it was raining, windy, just gross yesterday. So it was either sit in the house or do something. So I was going to film it, but with the wind and everything and just the rain, it would have been hard to keep the camera rolling. So um, we had 50, 60 kilometer an hour winds yesterday. And I'm glad I did this other rather than, you know, sitting in the house. But uh, I, we got about, sorry about the sun there, friends. We got about six, seven hours into this right now. Uh, Miss Charlie, we told her she's going to get her own park, so. I never had stuff like this growing up, and uh, I want my child to uh, be able to play in the yard, so. This, this means a lot to me. Hard work, you know. Hard work and making the right steps, and just, you know planning for the future we got to the point that we can get her stuff like this so it's pretty awesome anyhow friends i'm gonna just set up here and there's a few odds and ends we gotta finish on this thing um there's some handles that go here here and there uh there's a slide i gotta finish the roof uh the roof is just slots that overlap um it looks okay i did this in the dark last night so um <laughs> it actually looks pretty good i was a little scared i shut her down friends i couldn't see i had the lights the back lights on the truck shining on the trailer and then my my big 
DeWalt Spotlight. Um, if this is how I decided to do this, I put both of the boxes, each of these boxes weigh a couple hundred pounds. I put them on my, you know, my junk trailer here. I think I might have to keep this trailer. I've been using it lots for around the yard work. Maybe I'll put sides on it. Yeah, I put the old, uh, or the, I put the kit here, took the lids off the boxes, and then my wife, who's way more organized than I am, she laid out all of the, all of the different pieces and uh, labeled them all for me. So anyhow, I'm going to put the tool belt on, set up, and uh, let's finish this thing. Here's the instruction manual. Now, friends, because I've been in the trades my whole life, uh, I draw and read blueprints at work every day. Um, <laughs> these blueprints live, leave a lot to be desired, but I've been getting my way through it. It gives you listings for all the hardware, but we're going to put both side handles on. Looks like six inches and six inches to the left one, so... We'll get all the fasteners ready and put those on now. Okay, so it says six inches. Six inches from here is where you put the grab handle, so I'm gonna just mark that with my pencil. And pick one of these handles. I'm really glad to get this done. We actually purchased this last year in fall. This part of living so remote is there's not a lot to do in the yard, right? You got to travel a lot, and I mean we do it pretty much every weekend. We go on some kind of family adventure, but um, it's nice sometimes if your kid can just play in the yard. And uh, so we end up doing that, and uh, you know, or we ended up buying this, and it just I don't know, it makes it a little bit easier day to day, especially during the week, you know, when you're working and that. This top one is 8 and 7 eighths from here. My problem is with this kit is it's, they don't give you good measurements for things. So you want to, me being a guy that builds things for a living, um, I want everything to be straight and, you know, and that's just not the way these kits are. Um, even the lumber is not uh, dimensional, like it's not, this. these 2 by 4s are not actually, 2 by 4 should be 3 and a half by an inch and a half. Um, you know, when it's at, say, 105%. I don't know if any of you guys frame, but um, this stuff is not. So you kind of, you got to wing it a little bit. Just pre-drilling my holes. And we'll I'll take one of these. I won't walk you through all four of these, but I'll show you guys the one, and then you repeat. I've never built something with so many different kinds of hardware. I assume this is like, you know, everything else in the modern world. Uh, there's a bunch of people in an office designing things that are completely disconnected from each other, and they each person designs one portion. Because <laughs> I, I feel like... I could have eliminated eight or nine different types of screw in this project. Um, there's so many that are different, but they're so close in size that it's like, why not just have a bag of one size of screw? But I guess that's just me. Okay, now we'll put this in here. You guys know me, I'm Mr. DeWalt. Uh, DeWalt put food on the table for 20 years for me. I mean, I've used other brands, Milwaukee, Makita. 
even tried rigid for a while. Um, DeWalt's, uh, I, I mean, you, you look at this, friends, It's it's got lots of wear on the side. It's beat. Um, this I used in the field for probably a solid year. And I mean, that's 10,000 screws a month. So 120,000 screws a year, plus deck screws and anything else that I use. Um, I get about two years out of one of these. Um, and usually they die because I drop them too many times. They fall out of your tool belt when you're, you know, working at height. But uh, they're good. I, I like my DeWalt stuff. And that was eight and seven eighths from the bottom. So six and eight is 14 and seven eighths. So we'll just do that. Wind's starting to pick up. And I guess we'll kind of put this closer to the edge so it's easier to grab for the little ones. I'll go three quarters of an inch. I'll go down here and give myself another reference point. Okay. In here. My kids can freak when she sees this, I can't wait. She's uh she's young enough that she's still I mean she's a she's still a baby, you know, like she's a toddler, but she's young enough that she's still a baby, but she's getting old enough that she her, her, her language skills and all that are getting to be way better, so she's turning into a little person, which is pretty cool. Never thought I'd have a child. And uh, now I do. It's awesome. Being very careful not to overdrive any of these. If you guys have used these modern impacts, they got big power. Yeah, there we go. Now I'll go and do the other side. Hey, Charlie! That's kind of fun, eh? <laughs> oh. Good times. Oh, to be a kid in today's world. So many fun things for children now. It's going to be an interesting time for me. <laughs> Okay, I know what we're getting though, friends. We're getting dirt bikes. That 490 I bought years ago kind of turned into too much of a project for me. It's, uh, I need to find a donor bike is what I need. It's just, uh, that thing's too far gone. But, uh, that's fine. I'll get like an XR or something. So, and I know four stroke, the Tin Man's gonna ride a four stroke? Yeah, probably. For around here, for the type of riding I'll be doing, a four stroke's probably my best bet. Hey, hey, look at this thing. Let's see if I can get this on here now. There we go. <laughs> A little horn that's fun and now for the best part our daughter is a professional slider since so she's about a year and a half now it doesn't really doesn't really give you a measurement like everything else in this kit but uh, I'm guessing there's a block of wood underneath here in the back and I'm guessing that's where this should go so I put that block of wood on here you know a while ago so and again I tend to overthink things when I'm building them because well I'm a trade guy I build things for a living but uh, I think this will be fine right where it is I'll just make sure it lines up on the seam uh, Pre-drill three holes and get this thing mounted. Charlie's still too young. She doesn't know what daddy's building her, but I can't wait. She's going to figure out pretty soon what this thing is. 
And uh, at that point, she's gonna wanna play on it, so I gotta get this finished as quickly as possible. You can hear in the background. I thought this would have more than three screws holding it on, but nope. Well, that was pretty sturdy. That's funny, I watch videos of where I'm outside and you can hear Charlie in the background. She's a chatty Kathy, <laughs> which I love. Mm, there we go. Okay, we have a slide, friends. That's pretty exciting. Now, I face this this way because I don't want the sun on it. It won't get hot then, so. Okay, now the real fun part. This thing has a legit fireman's pole. Um, I gotta pull it into the ground a little bit, but uh, this is gonna be fun. She's, now she's not old enough to use it yet, but for future, my kid's a little orangutan, <laughs> no fear. Um, I gotta pull this into the ground, so I'm hoping my uh, my weight can pull this thing down. I don't wanna dig a hole and make it muddy over here. Uh, first thing, you gotta put this bracket on the end. I gotta say, this, this kit is fairly substantially done. It's, uh, it's not flimsy at all feels sturdy so um, anybody that's wondering we picked this up from Toys R Us um, Miss Charlie wants to play with this she's very upset she's like daddy go faster but yeah we picked this up at Toys R Us last year when it was on sale at the end of the year because in this climate uh, summertime stuff they try and blow it out fairly cheap now I gotta figure out I guess I'll just wing it. Okay, so this is gonna have to go on the ground like this. Oh yeah, the ground is so soft right now that it's actually helping me. So there, that's gonna go there. There's three bolts. That reminds me, I gotta get the socket for that. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the socket so I can drive these in. Okay, I got the fasteners here. Working under some pressure here, folks. Charlie wants to play with this so bad that she's generally a happy kid, but uh, she's not impressed with my lack of speed. <laughs> uh, so much fun. These are just those mounts. They got the little teeth on them. You bang them in. They're threaded. Okay, we'll take these bolts with lock washers. I have to reposition this a couple times because uh, just to get it straight this way. There we go. Well, I gotta say. It was a lot of work to build this thing, but uh, all the pieces fit well. Nothing, you know, nothing was missing. Um, a few things were mislabeled, but that was easily figured out. Fasteners seem to be quality. Next, I gotta drive in these stakes into the bottom. That way this thing doesn't move. This is actually perfect. Uh, the ground here is very, very hard. Uh, Manitoba gumbo. It, uh, the ground here means business. Because it's been raining for so many days, it's, uh, so soft I can push these in by hand. 
which is very weird for here. Oh, that's sturdy. Nice. Okay. A couple odds and ends. I think we're done. Whee! Yeah, good job. You're just fearless. Are you going to climb? This kid's 20 months old and just fearless. Like her daddy. I'm in for a ride here. <laughs> Are you going to slide? Are you climbing? Good job. Okay, come slide. Show me how you slide. Show me how you slide. Whee! Good job. Any anyway, friends? Little side project on a Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for your help, babe. <laughs> Without my wife, this would have taken me days. Total assembly time, nine hours. They said 14. I'll take that as a win. I am a production-based animal, and uh, this will really help out with uh, trying to expend the energy that uh, Miss Charlie has, as you guys can see. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Take her easy. See you in a couple days. Later.